Hi, and welcome back to the three minute webinar. Three minute ish. Okay, whatever. We've never actually done one in three minutes, but I'm getting closer each time. No, not really. Here's how it works. This started as a bet between Charlie, my writer, producer, and me. I said I could try to summarize an entire webinar in three minutes. Charlie said, never. I did say that. I give him my quotes and my commentary. He edits it and times it. And if I hit three minutes, I win. Now, more than that, Charlie wins. Go, go! That's just the timing. Only you can see whether I got it right. How? Well, you can check out the recording of the webinar. There's a full playback and there's a link in your email. But you, you're the judge on this one. So here we go. Start the clock. This webinar was jointly sponsored by Cisco Canada and IBM Canada. I had two guests, both from the IBM Services Center of Competency. I had Charles Fitzgerald and Manish Gupta. Now, the theme of the webinar is that on-premises infrastructure is not dead. Why? Why not just move all applications to the cloud and get out of the management of infrastructure and all of that? Those are the questions. Listen to what Manish Gupta from IBM had to say about this. Latency is a big driver. Uh, then the second big factor that we see in the market is security and compliance, uh, specifically customers in healthcare, customers in financial segment, banks, uh, and federal and public sector, right? These three segments are very averse to risk. Uh, they require a lot of security. And a lot of times they are very comfortable that they want to move to a cloud model, but they want within their data centers, which are uh, so if you talk about Department of Defense, like they want like impact level five, six or whatever requirements. So security and compliance plays a big role. And third comes to management and maintenance, right? The reality is a lot of applications that could be moved to public cloud. Yes, you know, you should move it. There will be a lot of applications which are not cloud native or they are not ready yet to be moved, right? For various reasons, for various restrictions. So from when we say uh, if the infrastructure in the data center is dead or not, right? The reality is uh, there will be significant workloads that will stay on premises for these reasons, whether it's latency or it's security and compliance, or it's just the applications are not yet ready to be moved, right? For different factors. That's not the only challenge. Not only are companies not moving all their applications to the cloud, but something else is happening. Companies have multiple cloud providers. And here's our informal survey of the audience. 50% of our audience had six or more cloud providers. According to my guests, this is not uncommon. 94% of enterprises use a mix of cloud models and, and that creates some challenges. Listen to what Charles Fitzgerald from IBM had to say about this. So we have these uh, addresses, the whole idea of being able to do this uh, multiple cloud and service approach and, and any location of choices to address the challenges that exist today. Uh, and those challenges, you know, some of the most common ones are if you look at each one of these infrastructures require different staff, uh, different tool sets, different integrations, different underlying uh, needs or requirements, different security policies, uh, different access points. I mean, they're all, they're basically truly separated or disconnected environments. So you can have an on-premise infrastructure you're running today and you've got workloads running there you've got a whole dedicated set of resources then you've got a separate public cloud infrastructure somewhere with some provider and the totally different resources totally different access points different underlying policies and everything is disconnected in some form so you don't have this commonality uh, between each of the two and that lack of connectivity creates you know even more more challenges uh, it's being able to move workloads between each one of these different cloud locations uh, and being the same workload or using without having to redefine new resource requirements on premise or on, in a public cloud, deploy those workloads across any one of them without having to change the workload attributes. That's the challenge. So what's the answer? Charles Fitzgerald proposes a new model. There's a new model that's arising and you know it's obviously industry analysts uh, like yourselves always like to determine, create a term, you know, so now we got this new uh, terminology called local cloud as a service. And really the whole concept is, is just localizing a cloud infrastructure at any location. So it's being able to uh, have this concept of deploying and managing cloud resources with cloud-like terms across any location, whether it be private, dedicated, or a hybrid approach or on-premise, 
or even in a you know a, a third-party data center, you know, like Manish brought up. You know, the multiple locations that private cloud infrastructure supports all could be locations that could be managed and uh, and run from a a single single point of view uh, as a location or a local local cloud service. Uh, so the location really doesn't matter anymore, and that's becoming more and more important to our end clients that. You know, it, it's not just one or the other; it's a mix of multiples. So that's why this you know new trend is coming up called local cloud as a service. That's the model. Want to know more? Check out the webinar. Remember, the links in the email. Stop the clock. How'd I do? No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Oh man. Okay. Maybe next time on the three-minute webinar. Anyway, I hope this has encouraged you to check out the, the full recording of this, the links in your email, and I'm out of here.